my channel. So for today's video, you guys are going to be seeing mine and Harrison's first ever time in Manchester. So I actually bought this as a gift to my boyfriend for Christmas, which was surprising him for two nights in Manchester. We've always both wanted to go and do like a little Manchester weekend away. So that's exactly what we're doing in today's video. I'm actually filming this when we're home. We had the most amazing time. This vlog of me taking you guys with us, I filmed literally everything. So I really do hope you enjoy it and maybe get some inspo if you've never been to Manchester before. If you are looking to go, do it. It's amazing and you guys will see in this video as well how much fun we had. But that's the video for today. I really do hope you enjoy it. If you do, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I think we've hit like 93k on YouTube. You guys are smashing it at the minute. I've got the biggest thank you gift for when we hit 100k. So the sooner we hit 100k, the sooner you guys will see what this huge giveaway is that I've been planning for literally ages. And as well, make sure to follow me over on my other social medias. I'll pop those on the screen now. There's quite a lot of Manchester content over on those as well. So if you have missed them, go and catch up with those. That's the video for today. You're going to join us with our whole weekend away in Manchester and see everything that we got up to. So we are currently at the station. Um, if this doesn't sum us up to a T, then I don't know what does. We have laid our tickets on the table. Harrison's concentration, trying to find what ones is for now. Because we've got to go to, we've got to go from Ebbsfleet to St Pancras and St Pancras to Euston. Is it Houston? Euston? St Mantis. I always say it wrong. Is it Euston? Yeah, I think it's Euston, yeah. Yeah, so then we've got to go Euston to Manchester. So, we've got a lot of tickets and we can't work out um, what's for what. We have got like a full itinerary, so I will go through that at some point. Um, but we're just going to focus on getting there for now because I'm just scared we're going to end up in the wrong place, but I think we'll be fine. Apparently you've got no makeup on. And I've had a bit of a skin like flare up recently i'm not sure what's going on but i think it's a bit of dry skin but i've got it here here and here so i'm not too sure what that's about but i've got no makeup on just face cream to try and like settle it before i wear makeup tonight i've got quite a big case a bag and this bag i've yeah I've packed quite a lot but yeah welcome to our manchester vlog we're gonna take you literally every single day whatever we do whatever we get up to we're taking you guys along with us so uh, yeah as well i've got my gum today it really hurts <laughs> is there anything else wrong with you Oh, gross. It's going to be an ulcer, that is. But yeah, we've got about 15 minutes till we get on our train. So we're going to head to London, Euston, and hopefully get on the right train to Manchester. We have made it. It's such a nice train. I did not expect this. We had a little bit of a confusion with the seats. We got on at like a random carriage. Nice and, tired. and then uh, apparently we had seats. I said, do we have a seat? No, 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 I we don't. I just thought you like do the London trains. You just turn up and maybe you had to pay extra for a seat. But no, we got given a like a reserved seat on the app. I have no idea. But we're in the right carriage now and we're in our right seats. But it's such a nice train. You guys can't really see. But it's actually like a really nice really nice train but i've got my makeup bag in here it has a light on it so it's quite handy um what a good girlfriend i am I made her a sort of packed lunch i mean all i just said Games. i gave him a southern bread chicken wrap two Le no not lettuce cucumber ketchup cheese it's just the way but Harrison's been at work all day, so that's why we're travelling up a little bit later. Um, when we get to Manchester at just before 8 o'clock, we're going to go straight to the hotel, put all of our bags in, and then we're heading straight off to Gaucho for dinner, because I actually got a voucher from my nan um, two Christmases ago now that we haven't used, and it was a free course meal at Gaucho with Prosecco. So we're going to go and do that, as so I booked it in Manchester, so it worked out really well. We're going to go and have a nice dinner together, and then we've also booked Lane 7, which is like a funky bowl and alley that everyone recommended to me and um, and then tomorrow is sunday i booked the hotel has a spa so i booked us in in the morning for an hour and then we're going to the cube live experience and when i put a story up saying manchester recommendations everyone put the cube live so that's what we're doing are you ready to go like head to head on that I don't know if we're going against each other or we're going as a pair against another couple. I'm not too sure. And then we've got dinner book day. Really requested restaurant as well, which is called Tattoo Manchester. Ta Tattoo, I think. Could be said that wrong. T-A-T-T-U. And that is right next to where we're going to go for like a little drink at the 20 stories before. So before our table at the tattoo, I could be saying that completely wrong, but before our table at the tattoo place, we're going to go for a drink at 20 stories. So that's our little itinerary for sunday and then monday we're going to go shopping at trafford center so we've got on all the right trains i'm just going to manchester now so yeah 
I've been watching White Lotus on Amazon Prime. I'm actually really liking it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that on Amazon Prime. And it's about an hour an episode, so it'll work out quite well just to watch two. <laughs> um, I also, we need to watch her from For Me Once as well. Everyone's been saying about For Me Once, that was highly requested, so I might squeeze that in as well if I can. Watch one episode of White Lotus, then go on to For Me Once. So this is my uh, little setup, we're ready to go. It's not focusing. This is what I've been watching on Amazon Prime. I'm on season two already. We arrived quite late. I'm gonna do my makeup. So then when we get to the hotel, we're pretty much ready to go for our dinner reservation at 9 p.m. Yeah, I'm gonna go and watch some of this and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Guys, I'm doing my makeup on the train. This mirror is a lifesaver. So we are literally, I think like 10 minutes away and I'm not ready. I was too busy watching my series and I have not done my makeup and I'm only just realised. I'm a little set up, but yeah, no, makeup for that. I've only done like a light makeup. I've just done a bit of concealer bronzer. Oh, look, there's Harrison. <laughs> busy watching. <laughs> but we are literally the next stop, so I'm gonna pack all of this away and get a taxi to the hotel. And when we get to the hotel, I'll show you guys the room. I'm really excited to see what it's like because we obviously saw some pictures, but I can't wait to see it. So I will see you guys when we're at the hotel. We have arrived and it looks so lovely already. We've literally just come in. But... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't have a clue. <laughs> Look how cute! And cake. A cake? Yeah. I got us a cake as well. <laughs> Look how nice it. that is! It's a really nice spacious room. Look how nice this is. So nice. Always good to have great lighting. Oh wow. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Got a little terrace area. Probably be a bit better to show you guys in the daylight tomorrow. It's so nice here. Oh, you just dropped a rose petal. We're gonna need to get to Gaucho for nine o'clock. So we're gonna have to leave quite soon, but the room's lovely and I'll show you guys in the light tomorrow. Quite a quick turnaround. We are all ready for yeah, going out. Go. We are going to Gaucho and then lane seven after for some bowling. I've just got on this really lovely Zara dress with a Zara bag. I've just got some black boots that I'm gonna wear with this and obviously tights. I have got a jacket as well because I know I'm gonna be freezing. It's no joke how cold it is at the minute. It's so, so cold. We're off now. I'm gonna go and put my jacket on and then we're gonna head to Gaucho for our first <laughs> meal out. I'm so excited. I'm um, starving. We've arrived at Gaucho. It's really dark in here so you can't probably see us. I've gone for a little porn star because I do love these every so often. Harrison, what did you go for? Oh, fine. Harrison went for a point. It's always so lovely in here. Always the best food and the best steak, of course, because it's a steakhouse. So I'm very, very excited. So, yeah, I'm going to go to our table soon. But for now, I'm just going to have a little drink in the bar. Completely forgot to vlog our starters that we had. But this is our main. We had the Chateau Brion with spinach, mac and cheese. I've got some chips. Harrison got match. Oh yes, that looks unreal. Mac and cheese is always so good in here. But we're gonna go and tuck in. This is our dinner. I can't believe I forgot to film the starters. What the mash? Uh, I'll try a little bit. And you have a couple of my chips. We're gonna go and eat our steak. My favorite thing ever. Cookie dough. Me and Harrison are both yawning away. and We've still got bowling. Can you take pictures of it? Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture so we can eat it. We made it to lane at seven, which was highly recommended to us when I put on my story about what to do in Manchester. I've got to talk right now because there's a DJ in here and it's so cool this place. Like, I'm so glad we are here. It's all glow in the dark. I know, it's all glow in the dark. It's so cool. Guys, there's no bumpers. I'm gonna be terrible. Right, and let me film your first your first time. Question is, guys, what weight do you guys go on the ball? I go for like an eight or a 10 or a 12 if I'm feeling strong. Go on then, hey. I'm so bad at bowling. Oh.
We are now on the way back to the hotel. It's been such a lovely evening for our first this night way. in Manchester. In it's Manchester. So much we went to a photo booth, of course, which was in the lane seven. So funny. Harrison's like, where am I looking? What, what is it? So one of them is just me because Harrison didn't fit in the camera. Oh, careful, huh? um, but our hotel's only a three minute walk from lane seven, which is pretty handy. We're back to the hotel. We are honestly both shattered. We can't wait to go to no. sleep. We are shattered, aren't we? Yeah. So we're gonna head off to bed so now. We've been up since 6 a.m. Yeah, Harrison had work really early today. So we're gonna head off to bed. Good night from us. On our first night in Manchester, we've loved it so far. We loved lane seven. We loved dinner. So, so far, so good. Good morning. Currently 8.40 and we're off for breakfast. That bed is so comfortable. I slept so good last night. The pillows in that bed, I need to find out where they're from because I need to order them because they are so good. We are off for breakfast, so let's go get some food. So we're at the buffet. This is like one of the nicest buffets I've seen. I'm gonna go for an orange juice. Look at all of this. You've got like grapes, pineapple, strawberries. It looks so nice. Got watermelon. We're both going for orange juice. What other ones? Apple, coconut water, and green cleanser. That's probably quite good actually, your greens. And then this side, there's even more. Oh my God, Harrison, look at those. <laughs> They're a bit of us. Look how good they look. Oh, They've got literally I've got everything. Breakfast. I have two portions. Yeah, two portions is only right. There's like cereal, milks, and then you've got crushed avocado, salmon. This is so good. This is the breakfast. My toast couldn't fit on the plate, but this is so good. Harrison's gone for that. Breakfast of chills. Right, let's go and tuck in. And this is the reception of the hotel. And I think you can get to some rooms from up there, I'm not too sure, but it's so nice. The gym and the spa, which is what we're literally going to in about 40 minutes, is right there. So that's really nice. But yeah, let's head. Ah, oh, Harrison! Harrison! No! No! He's gone! I was like, no, I have a fear of lifts on my own. Oh gosh. That is what? A hotel breakfast should be. Yeah, that it's lovely. Everything. Like, they didn't ship everything. Yeah, if you're Yogurt, thinking of like coming to brown, Manchester, beans, you've got to stay here. Eggs, what else? Ooh, everything. Juices, Green yogurt. Water. And then this is where we're staying. So you come out the lift. You've got like the views there. And then let me show you the terrace actually outside in the daylight. It's so cold out here. Even here is like bitter. This is what it is. Like two chairs and a table. And then there's like people like all below us and then people next to us. We've got our dressing robes. Oh, dressing gowns, dress, dressing one robes. Size. Like, what if you've got absolutely giant all my feet? <laughs> well, like, look, my ankle feet would be hanging out the back. I'm gonna film on my phone, guys, because I don't know if like I don't know what to film. I don't know how much I'm gonna be allowed to film when I'm down. I don't know. It sounds silly, but I'm gonna take my phone and just film landscape. Yeah. <laughs> what are those? Okay, well, we're ready. I'm gonna film on my phone, so. You never seen it. Wow. I'll see you guys at the spa. So guys, we are here. I'm filming on my phone. It is really busy, but we're sat on this like little bed. There's quite a few of them like all around, but this is the pool area. So lovely. And then there's just like a few beds. There's a couple of beds here. And then you can just sit right by the pool. And then I think there's like a sauna and steam room over there. And then we're gonna go to the gym after, which is over there. It's so hot in here as well, isn't it? Boiling, like yeah. in here is boiling. Harrison's going for a, uh, for a swim. The pool is so warm as well. It's so nice because it's, it's <laughs> gonna make any more noise. That my feet can reach the pool from our beds. It's so nice here. Going for a swim. I'm gonna get in, guys, but I've got my hair in a bun. Even though I'm going to the gym anyway, so I can't get my hair wet. I think I'm gonna wash it after the gym anyway. I can't wait to go to the gym as well. It looks so nice. Come on, look at the state of my hair. It's actually uh, really warm in here. Guys, ignore the state of my hair. Oh my god, <laughs> just whacked up my bun. Not a very good bun. Us gym addicts are gonna go to the gym after we've just had a relaxation. But we're gonna go to the gym. Got Abel leggings on, Fabletics sports bra, which are my absolute oh, I fave. A Y B L Abel. Yay! I'm not sure how you say it. We're gonna film like parts of a workout. Might do like a little cinematic of our workout. We're gonna try and back. So we'll see you guys in the gym. We're the only ones in the gym. This is so good. It's such a good gym. They've got literally everything. It's a techno gym. Like everything's techno gym. 
This is so good. We're gonna film our workout for like socials as well, like Instagram, TikTok. Oh, there's more. This is so cool. Oh, wow. This is such a nice gym. Oh, there's mirrors there. There's more around this. Oh, oh, I thought that was a mirror. Got another little section here. This is amazing. There's so much. Look at these little lights, all the little things, eh? And then if, when we went to the pool earlier, that's where we went around there. Oh, wow. Should we uh, get our session going? Yep. We didn't bring any water. Oh, well, I think we'll be all right. gym and we've just got ready because we are now heading off to the cube live outfit for today i'm actually loving this outfit and i've got on my gray new balance but what i was just thinking is we haven't even eaten a little bit of this cake yet so i'm gonna do the honors and cut it let me know what to expect let me put i mean that's a really big slice oh my gosh i've never seen a cake like this here it goes nothing imagine if i don't like it mm, that's actually really nice it's like a mousse cake I think that's what it is literally just made out of mousse and then it's got a little bit of sponge at the bottom. That was a good 10 out of 10 from me. Okay, we got a little bit lost, but this says the cube live, so okay, we're here. Okay, we're all checked in. We've got a little buzzer to tell us when it's ready. But oh my god, I feel like I'm on the TV show. Someone's playing a game over there. I literally can't wait. Guys, it lights up and everything. It's literally, he put he missed one ball and the whole thing went red like that. I'm sorry, this is so cool. Harrison, I can't wait. Hopefully I'm as good as what I think I am when I watch like the TV show. I'm like, oh, that's easy, I could do that. But God knows if I'll actually be able to do it or not. So we've actually just finished the first game. I've got a video on my phone. We're on to, We're on to this one. We named ours H2. Are you guys ready? I've got to scan my QR code. This one's a duo one, so me and Harrison are gonna be Together. So we're against two oh, boys. That's harder than that's harder than uh I think And we've right. got to work together on this one. I didn't win, so it's now Harrison's go to see if he can do it. Guys, my hand's literally shaking. Come on, Harrison. Come on. Go, 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 go on. Oh, he's going the other way. Harrison! Come on! Oh, no! No, you used your other hand! <laughs> Me and Harrison were the winners. So guys, we've just come out of the cube. It was so, so fun. But I'm gonna pop some clips on now that made us the winner as well. So I'm gonna pop the clips in. So roll the clips of when we won. <laughs> Harrison, how do you feel? It's static with my result. Um, but yeah, 
We have had such a lovely day. We're gonna go and sit down for a little bit before we head out. And then we're going back out for some drinks at the 20 stories and then the tattoo. I think I'm saying it wrong for dinner. We are ready for dinner. I've got on a little cord from Missy Empire tonight and then my Louis bag. But I'm gonna go and get some pictures in the reception because it's really nice and aesthetic and it goes with my outfit because it's like themed a little bit like black and a little bit of gold downstairs. So I'm gonna go and get some pictures and then I'll just drop my bag. Nice one, Holly. And then these heels are so nice. I wear them all the time. I literally love them. They've got the smallest heel and they're so comfy because of that reason. They're from Stradivarius. Love them. Stradivarius, Stradivarius, however you say it. Okay. <laughs> We've just got to 20 stories and it says, please note, 20 stories is closed this evening. Yay. Never mind. Okay, well, there's an alchemist around the corner and I've actually never been to an alchemist. So let's go and do that. It's only around the corner. Guys, the alchemist was shut. It? it was shut. What's going on? The alchemist was shut as well. We're going to ask if we can go to the sexy fish for a drink. Is, that's in front of us. Guys, Look, what's going on? It's just like a row of fly. It is nice though. Yeah, but they're all shut. So we made it to the sexy fish. We're just having a drink at the bar. It's so lovely in here. I tried to get Harrison to come here for dinner, but he's a little bit on the uh, fussier side, so he won't really eat sushi Watch and away. things like that. Look at the decor. It's so lovely in here. We just sat at the bar. Harrison's getting a beer, and I'm going to get a passion fruit martini. Also, a DJ in here as well. She's over there. So nice. We have arrived at. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at those. So, we've arrived at the restaurant and we've been seated. Such a beautiful restaurant. Lobster and prawn toast, some beef, like rib, short rib, and some duck pancakes. And we've got a few other little bits on the way, but it comes out as and when it's ready. But this is so yummy. Is it nice, Harrison? Oh, wow. I'm going to go and eat, guys. This looks amazing. And they said. To pour that in, it's like cherry liqueur or whatever. To, oh, to pour it in, if she wants to make it sweeter. Though. No. It's just very sweet. And you just made it even sweeter. Okay. Give it a good mix. I can't call it this, guys. Much better. Much better. Let me try them. It's really nice. Do you like it? Strong, yeah. So guys, the mains have come out. Front Beans, front noodles. Fillet of beef. Some that looks rice. lovely, that does. I don't know what's on top, but it looks nice. Caramel sauce though, I'm not sure Yeah, about that. I'm not sure. Um, barbecue chicken, oh, which looks really good. And, and then jasmine, jasmine, jasmine rice. rice. So we're just gonna share. We've got two, but like lovely. two mains. <laughs> I didn't film like when we came home last night, guys. We, safe we to say, to we were both in like a food coma. We were like, done. We were like, good we need to go really, to sleep. Really nice. Highly recommend. I mean, I know I got recommended it and lived up to the expectations. It was amazing. As well, we got something really exciting today. So a little backstory. Remember when like Got To Dance was a thing? There was a duo on there that me and my mum like really liked. They were really talented. Um, and I made a fan page for them. And I met this girl called Cassidy, met, like through fan pages of like making edits of these people. Me and Cassidy have literally been friends now for like 10 years since we were like in primary school. We haven't met since like 2018. We met for the first time because she lives in Manchester and I'm in Manchester. And I literally texted her and I was like, are you free today? So we're meeting her at the Trafford Centre at two o'clock and I'm really excited to see her because yeah, it's been a very, very long time. And a little outfit of the day, I've got a Zara tracksuit on, a Zara white top, Jacquemus bag, cause it's like my everyday little, my everyday little bag, I've just zoomed us in a little bit. Um, Harrison's got on CP Company, jeans, trainers, cult. The Edwardian in Manchester, it's been a pleasure. It's been lovely, I couldn't fault anything. So we're going and check out now and then we're gonna head to the Trafford Centre for see some what shopping. It's all about. Yeah, see what the uh, hype's about. Everyone's been saying like I need to go there as well. So we're gonna go and check it out. We will see you guys at Trafford Centre. Right guys, we we're just gonna the Eaton Bar. Do you know what I find funny, right? They've got trams everywhere here. Like look, everywhere. There's one thing we don't have. We've arrived. The Selfridges entrance. People are probably looking at us like, why are they so like, yeah, tourists over Trafford Centre. I'm sorry guys, it's probably really windy, but I've never been before, okay? This is, I love shopping, so this is a big deal for me. Oh look, they've got all like the Arnie clothes. I don't know if they've got this in the London one, you know? 
Of course he's brought me to the Lego part of Selfridges. You are obsessed. I love it. So he recently like had a sort out in his room and he found loads of his old Lego and now he's obsessed with like the Star Wars Lego. He has so Wait, many of these. I'm obsessed now. I got him like four of these for Christmas. You'd think he'd had oh, enough. so expensive though, like that. How much is that? Pounds. Wow. <laughs> Wait, no, that was a duck. <laughs> I can't do a parrot. Hey. Wow. I don't know. Oh, they've got skins. Oh, you know what? I've oh, never tried oh, skins. Oh, Maybe today's the day. And they've got lounge. I feel like London doesn't have any of this. So this is outside Selfridges. Wow. I've never been to a shopping centre like this before. It's all so pretty. So that's where we've just come from. Bought some little makeup bits, but I'll give you guys like a proper haul with everything that I get. So we've been to a few more shops. It's honestly so nice here. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, he's so gonna wanna go in there. Harrison, no. Surely not, we've just been to the Lego shop in Selfridges. What could you possibly need? That is just crazy, 519 pound. So it's about half past one, so my friend will be here in a little bit and then we've got lunch booked for quarter past two. So that's gonna be really nice. Harrison's just moaned the whole time that he's hungry. Stop. Even though we had a massive breakfast and I'm still full up from that hub, but Harrison can literally eat so much and then still say he's hungry after like because I'm growing Gosh. pretty much done like all of the shops now. So I'm gonna wait for my friend and then go and get some lunch. We've arrived at lunch and we're with Cassidy. It's literally been like six years since we last met, like 2018. So Cassidy lives in Manchester, like I've mentioned earlier, and she's taken us to where where is it? Is it on here? This is where we've gone. She's booked it all because she knows her way around here and I have no idea. So the other night we went to Gaucho, I'm not even joking, he went, was doing like what we was ordering and he goes, oh, what's your main? What do you want for your main? And I went, oh, Holly. What? And, I was, she, and then he went, like, and he was like, oh no. no, nice to meet you, Holly, but what's your main? And I was like, no. Oh I literally it thought was he said accent. like, what's your name? Because I think he was Argentina. Argentinian. 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 He was like, what's your main? And I was like, yeah, it's Holly. So I had no idea and then I was so embarrassed and there was a couple next to us and I was just I was like, like oh my God. you know what, that's that, but that was an embarrassing story. That's but story. Can, I can, I can I eat my garlic? Yeah, Harrison's patiently waiting. He did take the slice and then ruin the... Um, I'm taking it back now. I said, no, it was that one. <laughs> but we're going to go and eat this. Right, our mains have come. We're halfway through, like, demolishing it. It all looks really different to, like, a pepperoni pizza. I was expecting it to be like, no, it's not pepperoni, no, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. It's, so, like, it's similar. Okay, so Harris went for a pizza and chips, um, bolognese, and Cassie went for a carbonara. Okay, right, let's go and tuck into this. Thanks. Right, we're just leaving. We're gonna leave each other again. again. Can we not leave it like too long now, please, until I we know. don't see each other? It's been like six years. So I know. Long. You gotta come to London next time and I'll take you around London. <gasps> oh, it's so cold. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. say goodbye. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you lots. We'll see you soon. And just like that, we are on the train home. We're so tired. Wow. I'd like to think I'm gonna have a nap, but I'm probably not. We would be rushing back to Manchester. We loved it. Like, we would definitely return, like, as soon as we can. We'd come back. We really enjoyed everything about it. Like, it was so good, and it was so lovely to see my friend today. It was so wholesome. Like, I haven't seen her, yeah, for, like, six years. We've been friends for, like, ten years, but I've only ever seen her twice. But we've had an amazing time, and I'm excited to get home now. So, let's get home to London. And... <laughs> He's using a anti bad white body space. Maybe I don't think you should do that. But anyway, I will see you guys either tonight or in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I knew that I probably wasn't going to film this part of the video when I got home last night as me and Harrison were shattered. We literally went straight to sleep when we got home last night. So I'm going to give you guys the haul. I've ripped some of the bags, but I'm going to give you guys the haul now. I have... An addiction to New Balance at the minute. I don't know what it is. I've got a pair for Christmas and now I'm obsessed with every New Balance trainer. So first pair of trainers, I went to JD. I feel like these were a bit different and I do really like them. So it's this grey pair and the grey tracks I was wearing yesterday, they went really nicely with that. Um, but I am just addicted to New Balance at the minute and I can't stop wearing them. But 
they're, they're quite different and that's what I was saying to Harris like it's quite nice to have some different trainers to what I'd normally go for they did have loads of different colors but I'm loving gray at the minute as you can probably see it in a second when I show you the other things that I bought they look huge because unfortunately I have big feet so every trainer I get I have to be mindful of because not every trainer suits me when my feet are so big I really wanted these for the gym and I don't know if they're going to be good gym shoes. We're going to have to test them out. But everywhere had sold out of these. I went into Foot Asylum. I went into Foot Locker. I went into JD. Like everywhere. And I asked for these and no one had them. And then in Trafford Centre, there was an actual New Balance like store. You're probably thinking these look the exact same as the ones that you've been wearing. Apart from the colour is slightly different. I like the all silver and white. My other ones have got a little bit of black in them. Um, but these are going to be my new gym trainers. My other ones, this bit I think is black. And then this bit's black. But these are all silver for my gym shoes i haven't treated myself to a new pair of gym shoes in a while so you can't be a new fresh pair of trainers for the gym so these are going to be my new gym trainers and i'll probably wear them as well like day to day as well not just for the gym i did say that i was a uh, loving gray in a minute so i went into quiz i just love quiz i always i feel like i can always like rely on quiz to go in there and find a nice outfit um so this was 26 pound in a size small it's just really cute like grey jumper but they actually probably will go with my new trainers that I just bought and I just think it's really nice. They had it in like a beigey colour too. I feel like I get a lot of use out of this. I actually really liked it and I hadn't seen it in like my local quizzes so it's probably new. I did get these socks as well with them trainers um, for the gym. So they just got like um, NB on them obviously for New Balance. So I'm going to wear these to the gym with my shoes. And then I didn't realise but um, I walked past it. I was like, I really recognise this brand. And it was the Couture Club. Um, I didn't realise they had a shop. So I went into there and I found two gorgeous jumpers. I feel like Couture Club has come into trend in like the last few weeks. And I'm not complaining because it's so nice. So it's the green jumper and then it's like a lighter, like a mintier green on the logo there. Which I just really liked. I don't know. I don't know if I suit green but... I've gone for it anyway. It's a little bit longer, so I thought I could tuck it up with some jeans, and it'll actually look really nice. I actually really, really like it. It's different. Again, I think I've gone for, like, when I was doing my shopping, I've gone for, like, yeah, quite a different vibe to what I would normally go for. But I actually really like it, and I think I can style it up really nicely. And then I got this really nice jumper, and I'm obsessed with this. So it's just got the design in the middle, and it's grey, and it's so, so soft. And I just had the same thought, like, I tuck it up with some jeans, some leggings, and it'll actually, it could actually be styled, like, really dressy, or you can, like, dress it down a little bit. I love jumpers like this, like, if I'm just going for, like, a pub lunch, pub dinner, something like that. These are so handy, and it's really stunning. I got both of these jumpers in a size small. I just feel like the Couture Club has, like, done really well with these jumpers, because they're so nice. Zara, um, the grey tracksuit that I was wearing yesterday, I actually just picked it up in this, like, creamy colour. I'd had my eye on this for a while. I just hadn't bought it, because I'd had the... I've got the grey, the light grey, and the black set. So I probably didn't need, you know, the cream, but I did get it because I wear my other ones so much, so I know I'll get a lot of use out of this. Um, so it's just these tracksuits. They're so comfortable. It's really hard at the minute in Zara where it's a sale like I can never find anything in there where it's all just like into one um, and then I've got this really nice little top I wore this top in white in Manchester but I really liked this colour that's all that I got in Zara and then to finish the little haul I got some little makeup bits um I got three things in Selfridges unpopular opinion I felt like the Selfridges in London was actually much bigger than the one in Trafford Centre I don't know if anyone has been to the London one at Manchester and feels the same way I feel like the Selfridges in London is much better but I don't know that could just be me but I got the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation Erin always says how good this is I thought I'd start wearing it again so and I'm not sure what shade I mean I probably pronounced that really wrong so that's the shade that I got and then I got a top up of my Lacombe concealer because I love this concealer it's so so good and then the last thing that I bought was the ordinary and this is the peeling solution I've actually always wanted this but I've never actually just bought it but it was there I was like you know what why not and um, I'm not quite sure how to use this but I've seen it on TikTok and it's literally just a red bottle clean face and then evenly spread across the face and neck avoid the eye don't leave on for any more than 10 minutes and then rinse thoroughly so yeah it's meant to be really good for your skin so i have bought this oh my gosh it looks a bit looks a bit like blood um and i think that is everything that i bought in traffic center we just had the most amazing time like i'm missing it so much already this morning i'm like oh i want to go back but that obviously just shows how much of a good time that we had and 
I would really, really love to go back to Manchester. I had literally the most amazing time. I loved everything about Manchester, the hotel, everywhere, like the places we went to and obviously spending it with Harrison. It's been lovely. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and seeing us in Manchester for the first time. And thank you so much for all the love and support on the subscribers lately. The closer we hit 100k, the closer you guys are going to see this massive giveaway that I've been planning for months. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you guys next week for a brand new video at 6pm. Bye!